Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. We've now got the penultimate, and trust me, this time I really do mean it, the penultimate episode, stage 83 of the Eagle Moss release of Build the James Bond DB5. Now why have I got that om ominous tone? Is that a word? Ominous. Um, it's because right from the very start of this build, this stage is the one that I've been panicking and just freaking out about. Because basically we're going to be taking the two halves of the car, putting them together. Now I've heard right from the start, there's going to be problems. <laughs> some people have cracked windscreens when they're doing it. Some people have cracked frames when they're doing it. Some people can't get it to sit properly. And I'll tell you what, I have been putting it off. Now, I don't want to cram everything into one last stage. So I want to get this really hard stage out the way. Believe me, this is going to be the hardest stage of the build. And then we'll do the other two stages next week. And that will be the final one of the James Bond DB5. Very strange build. But I'll tell you what, the car looks absolutely amazing. So, <laughs> I can't put it off any longer. Without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> So in stage 83, you would be forgiven to thinking this is just like all the other stages we've had in the past because we've got a few items here, which is the battery box and what looks to be some sort of cover there. Uh, I don't know if this is the battery box cover or what, but we don't actually use any of these parts in this stage. So you'd think there's nothing to do. Well, you'll be wrong. I'm going to bring up my part work upgrades map because this is probably the biggest stage in the whole build. We're going to start putting the car together. So, do you remember this? This is the first thing we're going to need. Dust off the inner window there. And while I'm at it, I'll do the outer window as well, using one of Mrs. World of Wayne makeup brushes. Then we're going to be doing a lot of work on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape down the trunk so that can't open. That's excellent. I am just going to put some tape just over the bullet screen as well. And then we can turn this upside down. Now we're going to do a bit of wire tidy here. So looking at the top camera, I want to make sure these wires aren't going to pinch where we're going to be securing the vehicle onto the floor pan. So I'm, I'm basically guiding them around the two lug holes that we've got on either side here. And I think that is absolutely perfect there. And I think I am just going to put a little bit of tape in there just to stop that moving. The, the, the front end of this lead here, I want it to go just close to this channel here. So I'm going to push it down there all the way so that's not going to get pinched by anything. And once again, I'm going to put a little bit of tape down there to stop that moving. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Now the reason for doing this is I don't want these wires pinched later on. So probably best on the side camera I'm now going to take, so probably best on the side camera I'm now going to be taking this whole section that we've been working on before. We're going to be attaching this to the bottom of the car. <laughs> this is going to be fun. So to make things easier here I'm going to ensure that these are out all the way. One and two. And then I'm going to turn this upside down and get this into place. Making sure also, I'll put this back, that none of the steering, none of the seat belts, sorry, are going to get trapped underneath. Okay, let's do this. There we go. That has just slotted in there absolutely perfectly. Now I can see the cables that I tidied up before. They're here. So that's good news. Now that's going to be held in with four 
Type A screws. So we've got two in this side, two in the other side. That's two, and I'll just do two on the other side. And there you go, that's those four screws in place. So this is now locked in. Now on the points here and here, we're gonna be putting a type C screw. So one here. Nice and tight. And one at the other side. And now it's just a case of connecting every color wire up to its light color on the control board. So let's do that now. Now a little tip for you, either using heat shrink, or I'm gonna just use a bit of masking tape. Once you've got that, put something over the top of this so that plug's not gonna come out easily. Because the worst thing that can happen is while you're putting it together, one of these fall out and then something doesn't work. So, and then just continue doing all the rest of them. And there we go, they're all in. So the only ones we haven't got in now are the green and red wires there for the headlights, which we're gonna put on later, and the black and the red one, which we're about to put on now, that's gonna be the power. And this is what the power board looks like. I'm just gonna gently untangle this and put in three AAA batteries. One, two, and three, plug the power in and now I can start testing these electrics. So before I can do any of the electrics, I need to turn the power switch on, which means going into the trunk. So I'm gonna let that open now. Clicking the switch. And as you can hear, the engine's now running. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> So I'm just gonna spin this around so I can get to the buttons. I'm gonna press a switch that you can see in the picture here to turn the tail lights on. So I've got them here. And as you can see, they both come on. One, and on. So that works, perfect. Now the reason you can hear the ignition is because I do have the key to start the car already inserted in the car. So that's why you can hear the car running. Now, if I take that key out, the car stops running, as you can hear. I think I'm gonna leave it in. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> now, if I press the center of the steering wheel, we should hear the horn. That works perfect. So if I push the accelerator pedal, I've got my finger in here. Um, hopefully we can hear the engine rev up. Perfect. And then if I just turn this around again, just so you can see the lights at the back again, hopefully when I push the brake pedal, the brake lights should come on. Oh, there we go. So that's working perfect as well. The gates of the dashboard and the radar on the monitor should light up. I'm looking inside the car now. And they are all lit up as well, which is excellent. I love it. <laughs> so that was a successful test. Excellent. Let's turn that off. I'm just going to disconnect the battery box. I don't need that at the moment. Now, I'm just going to secure the trunk again. Because I'm going to turn this whole vehicle over being very gentle here just like that because i'm going to be putting two g screws through here most importantly i'm not going to put them in really strong because i don't want this cracking and putting under pressure here 
the two group two G screws just through that section there. Got a whole pack of the uh, G screws here. So I'm going to put this in just till it engages the bodywork there. And then when I feel resistance, I'm stopping. There we go. And do the same on the other side. Perfect. Now I've zoomed up the camera as much as I can. I'm going to put this all the way to the back because now we're going to be putting the front of the vehicle on. Now that's what that looks like and it's the headlight leads here which I want to make sure I keep tidy. So I'm going to make sure these are kept out the way first by securing them to each side of the car with some masking tape. So that's one side. And that's the second side. The whole point is to stop them being trapped into place there. So I'm going to turn this over and slowly offer this to the vehicle. Now I'm going to make sure the doors are slightly open and I want to put it on at an angle because I want this lip here to be under the windscreen. Just like that. Now definitely pull these out before we put that in, otherwise it's not going to fit flush. Make sure these are all the way out. And I'm looking at how that's sitting. And now I'm going to tape this hood closed because I'm going to attach this from the underside. Now with the headlight leads, I'm going to trace them around the little notch that we can see there. And again, a bit of tape just to put that into place and keep that out of the way. The same on the other side here. And we're going to start piecing this together with four AA screws. The first one just in this section here. That's one. So I've zoomed out. You know what? Wrestling a, <laughs> wrestling a tiger would have been easier than that. We are done and everything's in. Look, we've got a nice flat surface line here. Do you like my pointing stick here? The wires from the headlights are just going into this little gap here. And I've traced them through the back and connected those up. So there's one this side and one this side. I believe in the next stage, we're going to be pinning these down. Uh, so that means two stages left, which means we should be able to do that in the next stage. So the next stage is going to be next week i reckon the last stage but it's all completely attached uh it acts, it's actually secured in by four screws two aas at the front one two and then two here one and two which i've done so i'm going to turn it around and give you the glory shot check this out this is absolutely amazing i absolutely love where we're up to at the moment all the way to the back. I've still kept the masking tape on the back, so we've got to turn it around again. But that looks amazing. So all we've got to do is put the rear axle on, the window wipers, plug the battery box and the floor pan in, and do the sunroof, which I think we should be able to do next week, no problems at all, because that was the hardest stage in the build. And I think uh, you'll agree, that looks absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with that. Look, the uh, doors open so, so and shut <laughs> so you can see inside there but i think i'll uh I'll, I'll change some of that to the uh reveal later on i'm so happy with how that's looking and uh christian buxton if you're watching it wow you're gonna have a great car here <laughs> so 
till next week, which is definitely going to be the last stage. We're going to be doing stages 84 and 85. I'm just so happy. This was the stage that was keeping me awake at night. This was the stage that right from the very beginning of the build, people have said you're going to have problems putting the two halves together. Um, I actually, well, I didn't cheat. I, I used the instructions different. I, uh, I actually took the window frame off. Once the window frame was off, I didn't worry about breaking or, you know, breaking it or anything like that when I put the top off. So then I put it on and then I attached the window frame back to the vehicle again. That was it. That's all I did. <laughs> and it's gone on absolutely beautifully. And uh, I'm just so happy that I haven't managed to scratch anything. We've been on this map and it looks absolutely brilliant. I'm just so happy with how it looks. But the hard stage is out of the way. Next week's the final episode. So I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.